Welcome to Countdown to Infinity, a Marvel's Avengers podcast. We talk all things Marvel Cinematic Universe, including the movies, mm-hmm. all 4,000 of them. Yes. And then also the TV shows on Disney+. Plus. Also, all the streaming shows. Also adding up to about 4,000. So, yeah, if we're talking episodes <laughs> in time, there's quite a few already there. And it's been just a little over two years. Yeah. Um, we're in the middle of our She-Hulk watch uh, recap. Yes. Whoa, I messed up what? again. <laughs> I didn't want to say watch along because we're not watching them like live uh-huh. with people and no. we're not commentating on that. Well, we are watching them live with people. We are. With one another. Yes. Yes. Mm, mm. Me and you. The quality time. Ooh. This is this is our quality time yes. as Marvel. <laughs> Surrounded. <laughs> we're doing episode by episode. We're on episode six, Just Jen. Just Jen. My name's Emmanuel and we're really excited because we have back on the pod. <gasps> Who? Someone else. Oh. Get off. Bye. I'm just kidding. It's me. Sophia. Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Welcome I'm Sophia. back. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've been podcasting. Yes. Brent has been a trooper and stepping in to do some records, Brent, but now Sophia's back. Brent's the best, though. Thank Brent's you, Brent. The best. The, Brent, Brent is the best. Brent is the best. Sophia, what do you have to say to your fans who have been writing letters <laughs> every single day? That you haven't been on the pod. Um, thank you so much for all of your love and support during this difficult time. But I will say I am happy to be back. Yes. Um, and it's not yes. to say you haven't been watching She-Hulk. You've been watching no. them anyways. Yeah, 100%. I've been here. I've been watching. Just not potting about Just it. Just not guess, talking right? about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> the, ps- the pressure was off. It was. But now the pressure. Back on, baby. Back I, I on. I feel it. I feel it so much. Baby. This and this, this is a very special episode. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the episode where Jennifer Walters is just jen just jen Mm -hmm. well is she but she is jen for quite a bit (laughs) but even she kind of self-aware and meta tells us breaking the fourth wall to tell us the self-contained wedding yes episode because most of this episode at least when it comes to she hulk is centered around her high school friend lulu's wedding yes and uh then we've got a separate story with mr immortal with nikki (laughs) and mallory it's funny but that's you know this is a a really uh, fun app and there's something that kind of leads you to think there's a much bigger plot against she hulk in fact the, that includes the whole series. Yes. Not just, it's a, not just Jen. We finally get to see a little bit of that. But mm-hmm. Sophia, what did you think about this set? Um, I was so stoked. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I was more stoked about like seeing the bigger picture because I think the last time I was on the pod, we were kind of talking about like where all of these quote unquote villains were going to go um, because like Titania has obviously been like an... an uh, like a presence in the whole series so yeah, far. At least talked about, not so much she seen all the time. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. But she's like been like we know about her since day one, mm-hmm. right? So we, I was like, I think we were talking about that briefly. Like, what is going to happen with her? Like, can it be? And then like the lawsuit that we saw. Yeah. But like, okay, cool. Then they just have this beef the whole time. But we didn't know if that was going to be like the center of. Yeah. the show and now we know I mean it very well could be I don't I'm not saying Titania has nothing to do with like what was featured in this episode towards the end like the bigger picture of yeah the uh, online community of yeah. toxic trolls, trolls that are going after the, but like deeper than trolls yeah. even because it's more it's definitely targeted towards She-Hulk mm-hmm. um but uh, yeah, so that I'm really excited for. I was waiting for it. Um, also, like her love life and the whole comedic aspect yeah. of the show, like that's super cute. And she does um, meet Josh at the wedding. Uh, g- girl, jo- <clears throat> he's kind of the his... opposite of that. Uh, <gasps> pedi- uh, I forgot what his job was. Know, the doctor man. from the first step who to... only likes She Hulk. Josh kind of likes Jen. Uh huh. And 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 like, he, but he doesn't mind She Hulk either, though, because yeah. he was like, doesn't no, I think off. I think you're all right either way. Like, yeah. it's, it's fine. And that girl, I, mm, that Joshua, though, yeah. I, I I'm a hundred percent on board. Funny guy. He brings her fries oh. when she's drunk. You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me so much of you. Yes, of course. <laughs> Unless he turns out to be an evil guy. Right, right, right. I see. That's another thing that I was kind of leaning on. I know we're kind of jumping into it already, yeah. but I, 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 straight to the end. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I mean, of course, like I want to love the idea of yeah. her being with a fantastic man like that. Just and, being and they Jen. haven't like answered that directly, but they're he, she is being surveilled. Oh, like, 100%. they're watching her. So I don't know yeah. if he's in on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if he's very. And he was like really broad with like his story of like, oh, I'm. Just here with the groom like no no major details and she was also she got drunk very quickly <laughs> yeah um and then he made another appearance then so i was like where'd you go friend like what what are you doing you know yeah um so yeah that was a whole thing 
but I do, uh, I did also love the, <laughs> the lawsuit. Like that was, that was so funny. I, I can only imagine. Ooh, the Mr. Immortal the, yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't clear about that. Yeah. The Mr. Immortals part, like that, that lawsuit, that there's was There's got to be some law happening, right? Each of these episodes, there's got to be a case mm-hmm. every mm-hmm. app. So yeah. yeah. I love that. That was really funny. Yeah, Mr. Immortal is a really funny character who um, does exist in the comic books, Mm -hmm. but instead of using, and it's kind of hilarious, instead of using his power really to do anything good, he just uses it to escape relationships Mm -hmm. by by faking his death and kind Uh of dying IRL but coming back and Mm -hmm. he's been doing it for a millennia Uh it seems just as I thought trash you know what I'm saying yeah Mm -hmm. I think I really men I I like (laughs) the support group that (laughs) what no that that I'm sorry the the online support group that's what you're talking about no that's that's interesting (laughs) that's interesting yeah no (laughs) i i like the support group that jen has especially back at her law firm with nikki who who who's just her best friend i think like even outside of work oh yeah and then mallory who's sort of an idol to her and is kind of softening and becoming a closer member of the team we learn more about her we know she's been married for a long yes. time in this app, which I think yeah. is really cool. I hope she's not evil, first of all. I I don't know. I'm so suspicious in the MCU. You yeah. Know, I'm like, oh, anything no. can be anything. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I do enjoy the fact that Mallory does let Nikki kind of take lead on the Mr. Immortal case. She has like this great resolution, including really long eye contact with one of the wives. Mm-hmm. And of course, cash and stuff like that. But I like that. At least for, so far, we think Jen has some people looking out for her. Yeah, Nikki, a hundred percent. Just because she's just a positive. We trust her, right? She, yeah, she's she, safe. She's a hundred percent a okay. positive presence because she was there for her before in she the was She Hulk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, we got a little taste of that. In got the first her in episode a nice too. outfits. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and you can tell that she just released really st- on. It, I, I mean, I feel like. Nikki is the type of character that's just a hype character for anybody, but specifically for Jen yeah. because it is her best friend. But and I, it's not saying that she wouldn't do the same for any other person that she cares about. She's just a friend that is going to, one, hype you up, two, be there for you 100%, yeah. and three, do whatever she can to help protect you. I got to say, that's what I really love about the shows in general is the supporting cast and really the friends of the main heroes, like in Miss Marvel mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, somewhat in WandaVision until we find out it's Agatha, but like all of the <laughs> supporting cast is great but just as their you know their character as, as a friend group it's, yeah it's nice to see that in the yeah. mcu which normally doesn't have so much of that in the movies right it's mostly like oh mm-hmm. your friend is just another giant superhero but that's easier to portray in, in a series than it is of in course, a short yeah. amount of time of, yeah. of a movie I and say they're short super fun and, and i gotta say this too about um you know nikki is a is a comedian play or uh, the, is played by comedian ginger gonzaga mm-hmm. um but so is lulu who is her friend you might have oh recognized we, we just watched oh we were just the talking lost about city. the lost city yeah um that she's in uh patty harrison she's really funny she's so funny <laughs> i like i mean this is a comedy and it's i was surprised to see her <laughs> as a you know it's being you know pitched and we're kind of seeing that it is kind of a courtroom comedy mm-hmm. and there are a lot of comedians in this show which yeah. i think i appreciate because yeah. even with just her facial expressions, Patty Harrison as the best friend, <laughs> so funny because she doesn't want the limelight stolen. She's drunk at the end. Yeah. But her, her, like, I guess her disgust face is yeah. so good. And I feel like I've seen it in so many good TV and mm-hmm, film. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like her character is like a, a less um, partied version or maybe just like an older version of like the Madison character that we got that would party really yeah, hard with yeah. Wong. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she seems like more of like the attention, like mother seeking little person mm-hmm. in the in the little group. bit of that bridesmaids uh-huh, type uh-huh. show. Yeah, I also feel like this is this was good because she's from Jennifer's past, mm-hmm. and we kind of see how you know the whole series is kind of shaping up to be a decision for for Jen um, on whether or not she wants to be uh, She Hulk. M- m- you know, all the time. Like we talked about this before, but in the comic books, she makes the decision that she's just going to be she Hulk forever, you know, and not be Jen. Right. Um, which is kind of a sad, you know, uh, I, I it's really a sad don't. resolution, but I think it's nice to have Lulu. And, and I think maybe this is the reason why this is the way we- her wedding episode is, mm-hmm. she you knows she insists that Jen doesn't turn into she Hulk and she treats and her other friends treat her really badly. Yeah. They would not treat she Hulk like this. No, but I think that's kind of, either strengthening that decision that she's going to end up making or making it a little more complicated. Because, I've, yeah, once she turns into She-Hulk, of course, everyone respects her. But 
if she's not, like, they, they really treat her badly. I really don't want that to happen. I, I, yeah. beca- I mean, again, I, I, I don't really remember. It's been, like, years since I've potted, so I don't really remember what yeah. we talked about <laughs> before. Yeah. But yeah. I really don't want that to be the message to 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 anybody watching this series that's like from a younger generation because then that's just them yeah. being like oh well Brent and I called it the Greece ending which is change yeah. who you are oh, and everything will sure. be fine oh for sure yeah that's so accurate yeah because like that's why why do we need that again like leave that leave that in the past you know yeah especially with a friend like Nikki mm-hmm. you know like she can totally I, I, bring out the other side of Jen and yeah. like show her that that's not necessary at all yeah I mean so. we're gonna we're gonna I think think see something hopefully more nuanced because the comic books are great but they also were from a very they were from a different time yes. so that decision plus, was very different plus after the she hulk um titania trial when they went to go get drinks at the end of it yeah. she told her like you can do way better than that muscular mm-hmm. like hot doctor guy. like you'd be like josh you'd yeah josh. exactly yeah, better yeah mm-hmm. huh. don't worry about it yeah and i mean let's talk a little bit more about that titan this was their big fight you know, I don't know another, if this another is, one. <laughs> yeah, and you know, you, you really don't even know with Titania if this is the it for her. I mean, she does get beat up by She Hulk, mm-hmm. but ultimately, she doesn't really even get defeated in a traditional Again. sense. She just trips on ice and then breaks her veneers and then gets really embarrassed and leaves while stealing a cake. Right. Um, so I'm not, do you feel like you're going to see Titania again or do you think this is actually it? No, I don't think this is it. I think she's just again more pissed off than what she was before. We're building to, yeah, yeah. Um, and she has all the resources like, uh, like Lulu said whenever they were talking about her, like she has 5,000 other jobs that she, or like companies that yeah. she's running. So it's not that she's has a lack of resources and she's, it's, yeah. She's just picking the wrong times and trying to do it by herself um, to take on She-Hulk is what I mean. And so I think Titania is totally capable of contacting the people that she needs to yeah. or seeing if somebody knows somebody who knows somebody. Yeah, this doesn't feel like revenge yet. No, no. not at all. Yeah. Um, I think that if these um, type, if these public fights and this public embarrassment continues then titania is then gonna like yeah if she loses her followers or whatever because she's obviously a character that cares about that so much mm-hmm. um i think that she's gonna get even more pissed off and embarrassed and then that's when it that's when things are really gonna hit the fan so. yeah and i'm i'm really interested too in in how her because i feel like the show is a lot about um discourse online Mm -hmm. and maybe about these super toxic communities that are built up only on the web yeah and titania plays a part of that i mean we'll talk about intelligentsia Mm -hmm. and all that stuff towards the end but Mm -hmm. titania is mostly you know her persona is crafted from her online presence image and yeah yeah, and that's why she is trademarking she hulk and doing pop-up shops Mm -hmm. classic influencer just like me (laughs) but i mean like her character seems like someone who could galvanize an online community to do something that's what i'm saying yeah or good who knows Mm -hmm. with her but But probably bad but yeah towards she hulk (laughs) yeah probably bad and we'll have to see what repercussions from those people filming her get beat up Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, you know, where that ends up. I mean, like, and how it can be blown out of proportions. Like, online, Mm -hmm. this could be a headline of She-Hulk fighting Titania, you know? Mm -hmm. Even though we saw it, it's not really, it was like a five-second thing, thing, Mm -hmm. you know? But, yeah, it could live online forever. And honestly, out-of-context clip. And honestly, the veneers thing, like, that was just because she slips on an ice cube. It's not even because She-Hulk, like, punched her severely and then that messed up her teeth. But She um, also sucker-punched She-Hulk while she was throwing up. So that's... Mm-hmm. As Jen too, like it's mm-hmm. she's that's a dick she started move. It. That's a dick move, Titania. Yeah. <laughs> Never sucker punch someone, someone throwing up at a wedding. Exactly. Okay. No, Sorry, no. I just got to draw the line there. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I think that because Jen was being surveillance, just having fries with Josh, that doesn't yeah. mean that the whoever was running surveillance on that moment did not yeah. see the fight between and, her and Titania. Like, and remember, they there. are looking for DNA. Mm-hmm. She's touching fries. I don't know. Like, there's all kinds of stuff, I think, that yep. we'll have to keep an eye on. Mm-hmm. Um, but that actually leads us to intelligentsia. Yes. So one of the reasons why, and this is kind of connects the A and B story in a way, but mm-hmm. the reason why Mr. Immortal um, was found out, I mm-hmm. guess, by his past wives was an article that one of them read on intelligentsia, mm-hmm. which sort of looks like a Reddit type, you know, message board. Mm-hmm. 
Um, or you have like slash something. I actually think there's an R slash Delphin pod that exists or something oh. like that. Yeah, but it's it's an online community and nice, nice plug. As Mallory, I don't think there's anything there. <laughs> oh, um, it's, it's banned now. But uh, but Mallory and Nikki dive in and see that that She Hulk is targeted. Targeted. Like there are some incredibly offensive, and I, I mean it's also PG thirteen offensive. Like, right. The stuff we saw are like cancel She Hulk. Mm-hmm. Oh, she sucks. Mm-hmm. Um, but then there's but we also know there's all like how do we kill it's the her? Internet. Yeah. yeah. Like there's way worse stuff on there for sure. Um, and then of course like we met that billionaire that she dated, you know, a couple episodes ago, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he was really interested in her. Super obsessed. So we can assume he's part of the community. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe what do you think about what is shaping up to be kind of the overarching uh, like villain in a way, which might not even be a single person, but a movement online? I think it's really smart of Marvel to do this because of how, I mean, how scarily like yeah. real this can very oh, yeah. much be. Even just about She-Hulk, this is real. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. And, it, and it's kind of crazy that this is like where we are now as a society. Like instead of just being super underground, people are very obvious about these types of things. I think yeah. the only thing that's underground is like where they would come from if it was like some sort of like actual person who's dangerous. Yeah, it's that uh, anonymous veil mm-hmm. of the internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so, like, yeah, I think that's totally relevant right now, and I, I think that's really a smart play for them. Um, again, because we think about how old, like, She-Hulk actually is as a character, so I'm sure it played out totally differently in the comic books. Like, yeah. they didn't have all this crazy stuff on the internet, but... Um, and also, I think that if they were to keep any profiles, because I, I feel like they're going to go back to the, the site and see who's exactly posting what, which would be smart. And like, maybe we're going to dive into a specific profile or somebody mm-hmm. who's like... Well, Hulk King... Yes, that's is, one. Is the uh-huh. one that seems to be in charge. Yes, so... At least as a lab. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if we're going to follow this specific person, then we're going to end up at the very end either having this huge fight between this person and She-Hulk or they're going to be able to get her DNA and mm-hmm. try to take her out, which is, like, even crazier for a series to do or what? Like, there are so many possibilities because it's anonymous. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. it's able... The, the series is now able to go, like, literally wherever. Yeah. Which, and, I, and, which I love. <laughs> and I don't know if this is a clue, but they specifically showed in the previously on um, Bruce Banner's mm-hmm. lab. Mm-hmm. I think it's in Mexico, right? Like It is. It is yeah. in Mexico. And the lab that we see it towards the end of this looks very similar. Yes. And they're mo- they're actually monitoring her, like, vitals. Yeah. So that, I think, is a big red flag of uh-huh. the amount of technology, at least, that they have. But, yeah, I think this whole pivot is – not pivot, even, but this unveiling of – the online community that's after Jen, I think is really brilliant because mm-hmm. it's a great way to comment on, of course, the existing toxic f- fandom. I don't even want to call them a fandom. This just this this kind of toxic ownership over mm-hmm. over some things. And mm-hmm. it's not just a Marvel thing. It's across the board. A hundred percent. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's a brilliant way to comment on it. We kind of saw some of this when there was a montage of people who were hating on She-Hulk that they played in an earlier episode, and then they revealed those were real comments from the show Mm -hmm. when it was announced. Yeah. I thought that was really brilliant. (laughs) And, um, I mean, like, it's just all about the stuff that triggers people Mm -hmm. to do these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, cut to Jen just living her life. And that's, it's not... Yeah, and then she has this whole problem with Titania and whatever. Yeah. Like, she got her hands full. And she didn't really, like, instigate any and of she's this. She's trying to date mm-hmm. and have a career. And Titania, I think, pointedly tells her, like, you don't even deserve that. You don't want to be a hero. Yeah. And it's very true. Even, I mean, she doesn't want to be a hero. She just got it because of a car accident and a transfusion. A literal accident. With her cousin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, uh, it's yeah, it's, it's interesting. And, mm-hmm. and it could serve as, like, a metaphor for fame, maybe even, mm-hmm. like. People who are like, why are you famous? You've done nothing or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. I'm interested to see how it, far it goes. Mm-hmm. And then I'm also interested in why. And I'm sure some people thought we'd talk about this in the first five minutes. But I'm interested to know where uh, Daredevil fits into any of this. I know. Like there was a little teaser and then it's we like, okay, the mask. Mm-hmm. cool. And then like nothing. Yeah. I, I wanted to see that. Ling- Thank you. It lingers on it. It like, really does. Like on the box. Yeah. It's, it's not- if we're not going to get Daredevil until yeah. like the last episode, Marvel? 
I'm going to be pissed. He's getting his own <laughs> I'm, long I'm going to be so upset. Show, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, this episode and the last one didn't have an after credit sequence no. because they had such a stinger at the end. It's here's Daredevil's mask. Here's a group of people hunting She-Hulk. So they don't want to like add anything it's not meg the stallion you know twerking or anything i'm not saying that they're being selfish but they're kind of being selfish <laughs> but yeah i mean you assume that that was like a direct reference to what's going to happen next mm-hmm. but it's not mm-hmm. i want to go back to the lab i mean we also realized that um bruce banner's off planet he's on his way to Zakar or something yes, right yeah, so he that lab could totally be empty mm-hmm. and jen even calls him and says like where what are you doing where yeah. are you? Because uh-huh. I haven't talked to you yeah. in like months or weeks or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I think that that lab is totally open for whoever wants to get in there and do all the things. Yeah, but I mean, how many people know about it? Yeah, supposedly not many That's or what zero. I'm yeah, like if they if they don't know, like this could be a lab run by somebody who actually ha- is intelligent yeah. and who has the capabilities. Um, and to be honest, in the MCU, there's a hundred labs like this everywhere. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like any any person that has either money, intelligence, or organization behind them is going to have this type of structure. In, yeah, that's in secret. Because I mean, it could very well be like run by that billionaire person because he's a billionaire mm. and he also is obsessed with all of the Avengers because he was asking all kinds of questions about Hulk and about whoever else on their date like he could be he got he got the money yeah you know and also he was in her work like he went yeah. to go to her job Ma- like, one of Mallory's clients yes so he is clearly obsessed with her and the idea of superiors and it's you know, that could be a Creepy. possibility yeah he's got resources mm-hmm. so yeah who and knows that's not to far. say that he can't very well reach out to Titania and be like hey you want to link up like yeah. we're both kind of with on the, the internet same page. let's use internet mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah I mean it's it's gonna be it could get really crazy pretty soon mm-hmm. and Jen may have to just like actually do a superhero you know become a superhero we're on episode six already mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. usually five and six are like the episodes where things kind yeah. of go south but here we are like yeah. the, the only the only we've thing got we got was left. a lab yeah we've got three left mm-hmm. and yeah there's there's a lot already happening i want to before uh we talk about what we're looking forward to in the next ep i want to go back and um mr immortal is played by the uh uh by david pascassi Pesquesi, but anyway, he's from Veep. <laughs> People know him from Veep. He's in. He's really funny. He's yes, in, um, he's in Star Wars Boba too. Fett. He's yeah. in Boba Fett. So and yeah. now he's in Marvel. Like, who is his agent? He's doing the thing. Good for him. Yeah. And I'm feeling the same too with um, uh, Mallory. The uh, shoot, she's from. Uh, let me get Renee Elise Goldsberry. Yes, who plays Angelica, in, she, oh, Tony Award winning, mm-hmm. and she's in. Angelica. We just I, she's in like Indies like Waves, and then she's in Girls Five Eva. I think. She's She's doing oh my really gosh! Well yes, yeah. Well, what are you looking forward to in the next couple episodes? What what kind of what part of the story are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I want to see Daredevil. Yeah, like everyone else. <laughs> like everybody yeah. else. Um, also, I do love the idea of her finding love, and I yeah. do also want to see um, whose lab it is. Who's the, who's that lab? Yeah. Who's lab? Whose lab is who's this? Whose lab? Um, and it's like you at the dog park. When a retriever <laughs> runs up to you, you're like, "Whose lab is Who's this?" Whose lab? Um, and I would love to also um, see her come to terms with herself, yeah, just self growth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and, and Nikki does tell her about, uh, you know, they agree. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's not tell Jen. Yeah. And Nikki, of course, like a best friend mm-hmm. on the on the right over says, "Like, oh my god, you got to check this stuff." She's out. like, "Girl, the cheese man, the yeah, gossip. Let yeah. me tell you." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to how. I guess Jen deals with all these forces that are that are kind of working against her. working against her without even her knowledge. That's really crazy. That's mm-hmm. that's really scary to mm-hmm. not even have a defined. And and I don't even know how you defend yourself against the internet. You know, mm-hmm. so I mean that's going to be really interesting to see. Um, I wonder how much of of Bruce Banner we will see at all. Like I feel like we shouldn't because this is Jen's thing now. Um, hmm. but I mean, with the lab and all that stuff, it'll be interesting to see what, what happens, um, with that. Cause she is reaching out to him. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm also interested to see what case is next. Like we've got some pretty interesting 
superhero law cases happening. Mr. Immortal in <laughs> yeah. this one, but we've we got an Asgardian shapeshifter in another. Mm-hmm. And then of course all the stuff with Wong and Abomination. Like that part I think has been really fun. Yeah, I do appreciate all the cameos of yeah. the comics. So it's I'm fun. I'm hoping that we get at least two or three more of, of those. And of course Daredevil is gonna be a part of that mm-hmm. um soon. But yeah, that'll be really I think it'll be fun. And it's kind of shaping up like she's going to be the lawyer for the Avengers or something. Yeah, she's going to um, work closely with them at least. Yeah, and I think that's going to be really fun yep. uh, to see too. I agree. But yeah, let us know what you're looking forward to. I'm sure we'll see it. We've mm-hmm. only got a couple episodes left. Yeah. Um. So if, yeah, we've come back uh, to, the, to, the, to the pod and we've come to the end of the pod. Wait, well, you've come back. We're to the here. Plug? Yeah. I, so, you know what? I have not been here in a while, so it Sophia, feels good to. It feels good what to do you one. have to plug? <laughs> um, just the same old, same old things. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening and for being so faithful to us. You have no idea it, your trust and your audience just works and, and goes a long way. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, and if you want to support us even further, you can check out our other shows that we have available at Delphin Pod. Uh, it's going to be on our Patreon. So it's DelphinPod.com slash, or no, Patreon.com slash Delphin. I have not done that since so long. Patreon.com slash DelphinPod, D-E-L-F-I-N-P-O-D. Um, thank you so much to Brent again for um, stepping in, stepping up, like yeah. always. He's the best. Um, and if you want to follow any of my socials, you sure can. Everything's going to be at underscore simply Sophie, S-O-F-I. E-E. That's me. Let us know uh, uh, what you think about the She-Hulk so far. And definitely go to Patreon. Listen to all the Delphin Pod shows. Revenge of the Sequel is back. It's back, baby. Uh, next week. Not now. But um, for, for October. And then we talk all kinds of movies and TVs across the network. Mm-hmm. Thanks so much for listening to this. Thank you. You'll hear us next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye.